Hello viewers, Ms. Kel here. I thought I'd run you through the daily procedure. So, making up the pH down. I put three full squirts into a larger volume of water. You do have to dilute this stuff because if uh, you saw on the first video where I tipped it in neat, I had no control over how far it went because there was far too much acid in one spot. So I'll, um, I'll fill that up with water, um, filtered water, and pause and go outside and we'll see where we're at and do an adjustment. Okay, so that's uh, one litre is being topped up now with what would be roughly, let me check the millilitres on that just so anyone that wants to do similar dilution what are we looking at here uh, how many mils is that 3.0 mils so nine mil so basically 10 10 mils to a liter this is nasty stuff keep it out of the reach of children the upkeep of these if you keep some pH 4 buffer in this little tip here, this will last a lot longer. I learnt that tip working in the lab. We always kept our pH probes in 4 buffer. And if they went wonky, we'd soak them in 4 buffer for a while, maybe a week or two, and they'd come back. Not always, but um, yeah. You want to keep your uh, probes always in pH 4. And also, by doing that, you'll know if your probe is uh, drifting, because when you turn it on, if it's not near 4, the liquid that's in there, then uh, it, it, it's, it's out of range. I might just freshen that up now, actually, so that um, so we can show you what I mean. So I'm going to rinse it out, because I haven't rinsed it clean, and I want to get all of uh, any of the other pH from the samples that have carried over off the probe and back in there and I'll pop that in there and it'll overflow that way I know it's full and completely covering the probe I'll just let that settle for a minute and then I will um, turn it on and show you uh, we should be really close to the value of 4 and if we're not then I'll press the calibrate button Alright, how are we looking? It's slowly coming down to a value that is close to 4. Uh, I'm having a bit of trouble seeing in the sun here because the phone's been turned down. So yeah, we're pretty close to the value of 4 and it's getting closer and closer as the probe um, sorts itself out. And when it stops moving down is when I'll press cal because if I calibrate it before it stops drifting down, it'll continue to drift down and be out of range. Okay, So let's have a look at the plants that went in yesterday. This is my Vietnamese mint or Luxar. And looking at the new tip growth is where you want to see to see how your plants are performing. Don't look at the old leaves, look at the new leaves. They look really well. They're happy. The plants are going good. Oregano, parsley, 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 basil, parsley, Luxar. All right. Let's have a look. So that doesn't look like it's going to drift any further. I hit the cowl button. And now it'll readjust that 4.09 to 4.01. Uh, I don't have the other end of the scale, the 7, which is actually a 6.68 for these yellow ones. 
but at any rate, that's that's good enough. So I don't lose my new buffer. I just sit that there like that. Ah, it just went and tipped out. Damn it. Great, the battery low. Five point five is where we want to be. As I described, we'll have a buffering to six point two, which is um, a function of the fulvic acid. So, like before, we're going to pull the flow off, so the plants aren't getting nutrient right now. In case I overshoot, put too much acid in. Put a little squirt in. Actually, that was a big squirt. That'll probably move me down to about five. I've probably gone too far, but that's okay. It'll take a while to um, mix and get round the corner there. Come on, where are you? Here it comes. Just hurry up. I think I can safely put another squirt in. So bright with all that yellow. Okay. Going a bit far now. Remember we've got um, the capacity of the retention that's in the perlite. So that when the water goes back over the perlite, that'll bring it up a few points. 5.2 isn't too low, um, that's okay. If I go under 5, we'll be starting to be in the acid zone, which is too acid. And I think that's pretty good. I can start flowing that back over. And that'll be a daily thing to just come out and make sure that the pH is in range. And if it's not, to adjust it down. And if it uh, if it starts to walk too far into the acid zone, I know I'm um, getting to the point that the water's getting too much mineral load and needs to be swapped out. 
uh, I should be good for a few weeks before that'll happen. So there it is, uh, daily adjustments. Thanks for watching, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you on the next one.